Hi. Hold on. I like crumbs in my mouth. I'm sorry. Hello. Hi. It's been a bit. Um, I know. Laser. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, mother up. Laser, thank you so much for 16 months. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Chemical bird, hello. I got a jam. Thank you, Laser, for starting off our day with that awesome sub slash song. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, yeah, it's been a week, over a week. <laughs> Good all the second emote. Um I'm tired. I got back from a trip. I was gone. I kind of I realized I kind of disappeared a little bit just like because like I was like a lot of stuff was happening a week ago at the end of March. I quit my job. My last day was the 31st. And so I was so like focused on my job that I kind of forgot about the trip that I was taking. So like all of a sudden I had to cancel the the fundraiser because my last day of work honestly was pretty bad <laughs> um and i knew i couldn't do like a big full fundraiser after that experience and so i had to cancel it and then i was like wait a minute i'm canceling stream and i'm going to be gone for a week sorry uh so i yeah i apologize for that um but good news trip was good i feel a lot better than i did um and we are doing the fundraiser this coming Friday, which is April 14th. Uh, it's still for Trans Lifeline. It's, <laughs> it's uh, uh, Trans Awareness Week, but extended. Extended Trans Awareness unspecified period of time. <laughs> yeah, that's great to hear. Yeah, I, I like, the, the, the thing that I regret the most is just, like, I was so caught up in it that I was like wait a minute I have to tell people <laughs> I'm gonna be gone um so I'm sorry about that uh today we are going to be doing spirit bearer because I really want to finish it this week I feel like we're this like this close and I want to finish it before Friday which is the um two alert with Pori okay hold on hold on hold on this is important <laughs> Gotta see the toofs. Um, why don't we give a, a shout out to Marie? I hope that's yeah. I think that's yes. Um, if you don't follow Marie, she does great ADHD friendly co working. Um, me and Laser are both. There a lot. <laughs> um, and they're doing they often do pets pictures and stuff, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go check that out real quick. I'm tired and I need that in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Look at that tooth. Look at that tooth. Look at that void tooth. <gasps> oh <laughs> Okay. Okay, I know I don't want to do that too much, but those are some great pictures. Go check out Oops Marie if you need co-working or just uh great cat pictures. Um okay, what am I doing? Spirit Fair. Oh right. Finished Spirit Fair this week before um the thing she is an absolute delight. Absolutely. <laughs> I okay, this is now we're just talking about Marie, but um I was watching the the like Criminal Minds reboot. And I was like, like Penelope Garcia is one of my been my what? Oh, wow, I can't talk today either. Wow, uh, you're also delighted. No, I I it's you know like 
I always love giving other people love and thank you for you got to get the two. Um, and th- thank you all also for saying that I'm a delight. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, okay, sorry. Brain is frozen. Hello. Penelope Garcia from Criminal Minds. One of my favorite characters of all time since the beginning of Criminal Minds. Cr- criminal? Crimin- criminal Minds. Um, and I was like watching the reboot and I was like, who does Pen- Penelope Garcia remind me of now? Like, and then I realized it was Marie. Like, they have the same vibe. Rigel is is trying to... Hold on. Sorry. That interrupted. Um, but anyway, so if you're a fan of Penelope Garcia, you'll be a fan of Murray. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, also, Cat Cam's not going to be on today. I <laughs> got halfway through making my bed, like, changing the sheets out, and realized it was taking longer than I thought it would. So my bed is not made. So you're probably not going to see the cats. <laughs> Slaughtery about that. Um, anyway. I think I, like, interrupted myself, like, t- on tangents, like, twice already. I'm trying to remember the thread. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just gonna open the game, because we gotta, we got gotta get stuff done today. Um, if you didn't know, you mean you didn't help? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm ready for today to just be tangent day you know distraction day um but if you didn't know we're doing oop oh, <laughs> i realized i did not edit that yet um we'll be doing a fundraiser for trans lifeline not on march 31st um but on april 14th which is this coming friday um let me actually just change that real quick um but yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to be playing Fortnite and DVD. We're going to have Dixburg going every $10 donated to the fundraiser. I will do a, a Dixper drop so you can like participate with um, messing up my good gamer moves. Let me do I'm just going to fix this real quick. Uh oh. Okay, and then we gotta do the timer as well. I'm sorry. This is all housekeeping that you do not want to have to watch. Okay, there we go. We're good now. Ooh. Oh. Game, hello? Yay, game. And it looks like you can hear it as well, which is great. All right, let's go. We are... St- 61% done with requests. I'm hoping we don't have to do 100% on those. It looks like we have three more spirits to get. All right. So yeah, my trip was good. We went up to Oregon. Um, Actually looking at houses and neighborhoods and stuff like that um just another step in the moving direction actually before i talk to him 
What do I have to do? Oh, right. We have to build Buck Blair of Wonder. Fuzzy Sweater Gamer, welcome in. Hello, how are you? Um, I'm trying my best to finish this game today. Gotta build the cellar. I gotta do that. Do that. And then click a lock for bed. We, oh, we need another clear glass sheet. Oh, and we gotta find berries for this person. Okay. Okay, this is what we're 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 focusing on Buck's house right now. And that's all we need. Okay. What? Uh, uh oh, right, pager. Power out. Too busy to fix it. Urgent, please come. I think I'm still here, so that's fine. Um, Francis says it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've got a new errand just for you. Fresh off the presses. Have a look, see? Medicine sheep? <laughs> what? I want that. What did I need? Yeah, we'll do that. Um, wolf red, I think. For the menacing sheep, we need three more wolf red. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, <laughs> maybe not easy enough. Oh no. Okay. Um. Um. Francis I can't. Francis, I cannot see. There we go. <laughs> I just gotta guess. Oh, Francis Francis, you were not helping me do your errand. Uh oh. There we go. Okay. I have no idea what that is, but <laughs> They look hungry with us. They don't. Uh, uh. Let's see. Let's drop the charade. Get out of my face. I won't eat the same thing all day, every day. Oh no. I already ate that. Um. Oh no, shellfish. Get out of here with the crayfish shit. Stick with the non-lethal stuff, kid. Okay, hold on. <laughs> we gotta... The tuna, maybe? Oh, no, 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 because seafood. Um... This... Ah! Think they like this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. A little bit of garlic bread. Let me get acquainted with my favorite food. Don't mind if I do. Alright. <laughs> gotta remember, they love... Favorite food, garlic bread. Okay, um... This is the hospital. Yeah. Alright, let's go... Help Jackie out. Oh yeah, last time we did meet the bat. Up here, okay. Okay, do I remember the voice for Jackie? Uh oh, it's you! No, that wasn't it. Ew, I'm actually relieved. Dude, when I started smelling like sulfur, I really thought a volcano was about to go off. Or perhaps I was having a stroke. Luckily, it's only 
Mellard's natural B.O. No, he's like more like a surfer dude. Like a... Uh. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming for so quickly. As you can see, I'm swamped again. And the hospital's main power converter just shut down again. I swear the crap management puts up through. Don't worry, it happens all the time. The hospital's running off the backup generator right now. But if I have... But if that one goes AWOL, well... Yeah, let's not think about that. The electrician really should have been fixing the main power converter, but I've managed just fine until now. It's simple. Really, take this key, it unlocks the elevator on the far east of the hospital. Oh, okay. We found it, but it was locked. Once you're up there, you gotta find the fuse box and uh, just uh, press all the buttons until you hear a noise. That's what I usually do. Thanks for the help. Cool. Oh. Not far enough. Here it comes. This is very high up. Oh, yay, we can go up this way now. Nice. Over here. I see the main power's back on. Super. Did you use my patented mash every button randomly technique? I swear I could be an engineer. Their job is a joke. Oh. The whole engineering thing's a scam anyway. It's just wires French kissing each other. Other. Hold on. It's just wires French kissing other wires. We get it. Another way for rich people to keep rich while shitting on us pores from their ivory towers. We should <laughs> organize. Yeah. Wow. Those engineers. Start a revolution or something, you know? Take arms, comrades, and shit. I should write a pamphlet one of these days. A proper one, like political and stuff. Sometimes when I'm in the shower, I have these thoughts. You wouldn't believe. Just great stuff. <laughs> but I guess I can't really take the time off. This whole place would just fall apart without me. I can't do that to these people, right? Er, that stinks. Not as much as you, but still, pretty smelly stuff. Hey, thanks, Stellars. As always, here's a pearl. I got it from here. Ooh. I want to see if I can go back up to the bat. If there's anything more to say. Oh, or I shall just open my door. Bye. Buddy, you can't just walk in here anytime you like. There's a reason I kicked you out. Oh well, he does not care. Whee! Yay! He's awake. Are you back? Yes, yes, you are. I have to remember. I must make it stick. Clues and hints that they give you away. Yes, I'll remember. The weight of your music. And all of your noises. Dead giveaways. You couldn't keep away, could you, Stella? I think the giant told you to stay off. Ugh. He told you to... Stay away. He did, did he not? After your last visit, he ripped... The melody. Clean off the wall. Next morning, it was back up. You do not see? I see. It seems that I still have a lot to learn. Or maybe I'm getting worse. I've thought it through. Your anchor, I've decided that it is not a sharp thing. It is dull and heavy. It is... Comforting? It is... No. Uninteresting. You play your battered guitar with rooted confidence, then you call for me. The ocean grows... The... Mm, the noises. The cries. 
they become muffled, like in a thick fog. Rigel. You're wrong, Stella. You've spent so much time numbing others to their pain. Well, you've numbed yourself. When... When you play, Stella. My melody. When you play it, it is dumbed down. A solid chunk. Dense platitude. But... It is not your fault. Sometimes I dream, yes. In my long nights, I dream of an old friend, an instrument, strange and yet familiar. A delicate schooner with masts of crystal and scales of warped steel. And when it, when it is caressed by the watery breeze, it wails softly. A haunting yet comforting music. Yes, this is the instrument my melody is for. With it, perhaps I could sail freely. I'm tired. Please, please. Interesting. That was beautiful. See. Rigel, Rigel. Sorry, I have to kick Rigel out again. Okay, hold on. Buddy? He was like literally digging through my the wires of my computer. <laughs> uh. He was like seconds away from getting the stream done. <laughs> okay, I want to see. Ask Francis, the wandering merchant, about Daria's particular demand. Oh, okay. Easy. He should be... Nope. He's gone. Alright. Um... Um... Uh... I think I need quartz. I want to remember what I need for the glass. There's the clear glass sheet, right? Silica powder. And we need quartz for the silica powder. I think I vaguely remember going through all this. I don't think more quartz. Nope. Alright. Gotta get quartz. Wait, hold on. Let's go get those eggs, I guess. Four eggs. <gasps> I have a cow now. How did that happen? Milk. <gasps> we can milk our cow. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that. <gasps> oh, now she's asleep. Oh my god, what a cutie. What a heckin' cutie. Okay, I can't forget quartz. I love cows. Cows are amazing. So, 
quartz is usually like over I uh silver. Marble. Or was it marble that we needed? Oh no. Uh Well, if Let's go to Francis first and take off that box. What can we do with milk? And glue and oh, milk and egg. Tidy. Young lady, how I appreciate your visit. Always some treasure for old Francis here. What have you brought for my admiration today? Oh, nothing? You're, you're looking for something from my collection. How very queer. Yes, definitely not straight. That's for sure. Well then, let's hear it. An instrument? My instrument collection is immense, dear. You'll have to be more precise. A delicate scooter, shooter, scooter, with masts of crystal and sails of warped steel. How very poetic and intriguing. Very well, let me think. Let me think. Aha! Yes, I do have one such instrument, and although I do not know its name, I figured it was quite rare. I wouldn't normally part with such a prized find, but to tell you the truth, it has become quite bothersome to ferry around. Its glass rods are delicate and fragile. I need to clear a wide berth around it just to make sure it does not break. Just imagine what wonders I could tightly pack in the spaces it currently occupies. Yes. Very well, it's decided I will give the instrument to you. Not for free, though. There, This year's raft is no... <laughs> this here raft is no charity. As usual, consult the available errands for my specific raids. Clear glass sheet. Come on. And a steel sheet. Okay. Back home, no one would ever let someone starve like this. What is she like? I thank you. Right. Ah, yeah. Scrambled eggs! Uh, that's what I thought it was gonna be. That's good. Okay, uh. Milk and. Oh, tea! Oh! I wanna see what that's gonna make. That was bad. Chai! Ooh! Ooh, awesome! That makes me want to die. Okay. Oh, I have to go. Uh, the chickens need more food. Okay. Ah! Okay. Everything was my attention, but we gotta, we gotta go get quartz. We need quartz. Let's get the stuff off the ship, actually. <laughs> it's like Stardew Valley when you get to this point where there's just so much to freaking do. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to the bus stop. I'm gonna double check what we need to make silica powder. We don't know. 
think it's quartz. Not marble, right? <sighs> I guess we're gonna have to go get both. remember what we need the cellar oh right we need more linen linen fabric fabric and bottle deck Alex Oh, isn't as a dragon is a dragon okay um that case let's just go to uh the turtle first and get stuff Oh, come on, I'm so hungry. I could eat a horse. No, do horses with ketchup and soda. Could you cook a horse? Would it enter your oven? No. No and no. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I don't want to be sick. Fruit is horrible. Oh, that's right. Okay. Meat pie? Oh, scrambled egg pie. Wow, wait. Are you a mind reader? Are you sure you're not a mind reader? Oh, well, okay. I believe you. I love it. I can eat breakfast all day, every day. Yay. Me too, to be honest. Oh, my mom just sent me a picture of Rigel trying to get under the door. He's like scratch. Oh, I bet Orion wants. Rigel and Orion were batting at each other under the door. That's very cute. See you later then. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I guess we'll just go back to that stuff anyway. But if it's marble I need and not quartz, then I don't have to go get more quartz. But let's see.
no, yep, it's quartz. <laughs> I should have known that. I feel like in my in the back of my brain I knew marble wouldn't make silica powder. Oh yeah, the minimalist clock. Wait, hold on. We need the quartz dragon. Oh, this one's like really close. Right. Oh, wait, we gotta go this way. Not like there, there yet. So. Oh, let's get more milk. No, we okay. We do have to navigate. The rest of the way to the dragon. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Hi, Alex. Dragon time, dragon time. This is the easy dragon. If I remember correctly. Oh, I have to go all the way up there. I forgot. Uh, that bear will come in. Hey there, look, a thing. A thing there is indeed. Oh! One, two, three, this thing! Four, one, two, Dabir, thank you so much for the sub! Nine months! That's so heckin' long! Sorry, this <laughs> Thank you so much, Dabbeard. How are you? This thing. I'll turn that back down. I'm trying to get quartz from this dragon so we can make silica powder so we can make glass. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you're good. so close to it. There we go. That didn't happen. Nobody saw that. There we go. Oh, that was not the last one. Whoops. Oh, 
gotta go this way. All right. I'm glad you feel better, little dragon. You're welcome. Pretty sure that's a good thing. What? Oh god. I was like, what? I just, I know I just got them. Oh wait. Crush! Crush the rock! <laughs> I don't know why this feels so good. It's so satisfying. Crush! Should be able to make more glass. Dang it. I think we need at least one more. And then I think we also need a steel sheet for Francis. There we go. All right, I think that is all we need. For Francis and for the seller, I believe. Oh, no, not the seller. What? Oh, um. The layer, Buck's layer. Right now, you've makeshifted a baby cam because you're alone here with the babe while your wife is halfway across the country th till Thursday. Well, I'm glad you could makeshift a baby cam. It sounds hopefully exciting, though. Or, I guess I should say, I hope um, the reason your wife is away is a good reason. And not like a, I don't know, stressful reason. <laughs> Where should Buck... I feel like... Ooh. Up. Yeah, that fits there kind of good. Or maybe... Buck Slayer could be here and I could switch out. Yeah. That. Cool, because you're using your phone for it, so you can snap vids and pick to send to your wife live if Clover does anything fun. Oh, that's kind of fun! That is fun! It's like, uh, you know, when you're watching, like, a live puppy cam or something, but better. <laughs> More personal.
I bet that's really cute. Oh wait, here it is. <gasps> Look at his little D and D setup. Oh my god, Buck's great. It was a very messy bed. I have you seen Buck Dadbeard? He's like this lizard. Wait, what? what? Talk to Buck. Where is Buck? Ah, uh, I think I remember where. No, not yet. He's great. Uh, we he's on what? I think he's on this island. Oh, I could have. Oh, it's whatever. Whatever. We'll just go the long way. That's fine. You're go you're gonna love Buck. He's great, and I'm very excited to have him on the boat. I should probably sleep. Oh, maybe he's. What am I doing? Is he already on the boat? <laughs> He's probably already on the boat. It's been a while since I've played, okay? It's been a while since I've played. He's probably already on the boat, and we don't... We don't need to be on our way. Um, He's just probably in the guest house. Or he was. Maybe? There he is. Yeah, he's up there. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought he was still on the island. There he is. Oh, Commander, your humble servant couldn't be more excited. This mage tower is reminiscent of the glorious Halcyon castles of Withlam. I can feel magic permeating through its pearly walls. It's even got a collector's bookshelf. I kneel before your solicitude, gasp in awe at your prowess. Now that this fabulous layer of wonder has been summoned to this planar realm, it's time to gaze ahead. Rejoice! The time has come for the Silver Company to proudly float its battle banner again. We will reassemble the finest group of adventurers ever to set foot in this realm. We're gonna play D&D. Elprin, the noble ranger. A plain sinking high elf ranger from a line of fallen royalty. Who was once rescued by good-natured beholders. Some say his family castle had a very low ceiling. And he sold everything he owned to pay for the Hero, Ac Hero Academy tuition. Wardrick, the cunning bard. A sassy human bard from the Mirror Desert. Who has seriously serious mommy issues and gets easily attached to people. Also very afraid of sharp edges. Emderil, the... Well, it's... Emderil is a multi-class warlock paladin plumber known <laughs> from a dysfunctional marriage who watched his whole family get eaten by a gelatinous kid. <laughs> oh no! Emderil! Don't pity him. He is quick to take credit and assign blame. And his min-maxing Tennessee is insufferable. Commander, let your modest servant scrawl on your map their last known dwellings. Onward, fate awaits us. Also, that sneaky bastard Jerome never gave me back my monster's manual. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> All right, so we're we don't need to go this way, even though we're here now. Um, that's amazing, right? Oh, we can go here now <gasps> to Crow's End. I want to go to a place called Crow's End. Yeah, he's fantastic. <laughs> and I love that he's basically a dragon. Okay, we have a uh, Hummingbird, Bottom Line Corp, and Oxbury. Okay. <laughs> Their names are Jerome, Brian, and Bob. Love that. Oh, what did I need for the car? Wait, oh, that's not what I wanted. Prove. Gold ingot. Crystal glass sheet and rose gold sheet. Okay, I have gold. Rose end ink discovered. Oh. 
<laughs> you have a Crestle. Whose worst stat is defense? Dadbeard. Oh, no. You got the worst Crestle in existence. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what are you doing all day? This operation needs a dedicated cook. You're hungry again? I feel like I just fed you. I'll give you that now. Regrub. Right, finally. Uh, 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 what was I doing? I don't remember. Family's hungry. <laughs> it's illegal to let children go hungry. Doesn't like fruit at all. Loves breakfast, though. <laughs> Am I a champion? I am now gonna eat this breakfast. <laughs> oh. Look at these chickens. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. Feels like it, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. Uh, what was I doing? I oh, I, oh uh, gold ingots. Oh my gosh! Look at that tiny little. Oh no. Such a small window. Uh oh. There we go. Whew. Awesome. Then I need to figure out what I need for... <laughs> I did this drawing for you. A drawing of Gustav. Aww. This is a rose gold sheet. Gold and copper. Oh. This is for the clock, I think, for Gustav. Yeah. I don't know, I just know I need to make it. Uh oh. That was bad. I'm really not good at this one. I I don't know how to judge how long to hold it. There we go. Hopefully I only needed one of those. I should have just pinned it. Oh. I went too fast for the camera.
Oh, we're almost at an hour already. Okay, after this. We're gonna make the clock and then we're gonna take a break. That was much easier. Ooh, big old clock. Fully improved for Gustav. Awesome. We're gonna talk to him and then we're gonna take a break. Look, Stella. There you are. Him. <laughs> it was with great pride and unbridled joy that I present to you humanity's legacy, my finest exhibition yet. Not too bad, don't you think? An official opening? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You know how I am, the spotlight is not for me. And besides, uh, vernissages are a waste of time. Nothing but an opportunity for officials to run around licking each other's... Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my God. Well, then I entrust all of this to your good care. I know I can trust it, trust in you after I'm gone. Oh, don't act surprised. You very well know I'm not the one to hang around longer than necessary. And I'm pretty confident I'm done all I could here. Good old Gustav always checked, looking ahead. But it was quite exhilarating. This whole endeavor, was it? Uh -huh. Well, as soon as we pass by the Everdor, be a love and drop me off. It will be appreciated. Oh, looks like we're gonna be saying goodbye to Gustav today. Uh, okay, we're, uh, let's go explore this island. I didn't realize Gustav wasn't going to have anything more other than just his face. Uh, oh, not this way. Uh-oh. 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 There we go. This is tough stuff. Iron. That makes sense. <gasps> There's a tent. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is that? I don't know if I can get up here at all. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I realized I said after we made the clock and talked to Gustav, I'd take a break, and then I, did, I didn't do that. Okay, hold on. I don't like that noise. I was so close. Maybe I just had to go from this lead. That's true. Nope. <laughs> uh. I wonder if you need another hour to get there.
Maybe this one? Nope. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the boat. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna run an ad. Um, don't worry, you're not gonna miss anything if you're seeing the ad. And I'll be right back. Uh, have a good break. Get a drink of water or stretch or whatever you need. I will be back. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Hope your break was good. I see you got a Munchlax dad beer. That's awesome. All right, we're going to get back to the game because I'm serious about finishing it. Go. Okay, since I'm not sure what I need to do there. Um, do you want to see if it says there's a spirit here? No. There is gold ore. All right. Um. Might as well go here. Shadow Forest. Ooh. And then we're going to make our way to the Everdoor. Uh, to say goodbye to Gustav. I love the way the mist looks in this game. The sheep are probably starving. We can feed them glue. I hope that's not bad for them. <laughs> All the animals down. I need to get more seeds. Shadow Forest. I love her little horns. She is a very big cow, though. Garlic. Right. Ooh. Not done all the rounds yet. Potato! Carrot! Fire glow! Alright! 
Friday. Ah. There we go. Shadow Forest! Uh, so I saw a- oh. Let's chop down the Shadow Forest. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe if I swim... I don't know, we're gonna try. Oh, can't. Alright, well, we're just gonna chop down some trees then. <laughs> oh, daffodil. Stuff to the ever door. Oh, oh, it's for lunch. I'm hungry. It's illegal to let children go hungry. Think you like that? No, I don't think I can eat that. My mother always says that I couldn't. What's a stimulant anyways? I don't know. Five is good. Popcorn? Yeah. Whoa, thanks! This is so good! Um, crack. There we go. I have a present for you. I found this in my room and thought you might need it. Empty bottle and a ceramic bowl. Oh, that's nice. Achieve and unlocked public transportation. <sighs> Here we go. It's cry time. To be fair, I feel like I wasn't quite as close to Gustav as some of the other characters. So we'll see. We'll see how emotional I get. I am tired, though, so... <laughs> Alright. Why is he up? Oh no, right. I have to... 
I gather you're ready to take me away. Yes. Very well, onward. He just falls. <laughs> okay, okay, I am. I'm getting emotional. a lot of flying spirits on board actually they all are flying all right cool here we go it seems to me you were quite surprised by my request to leave and it seems to me you still are. But you have to understand, Stella, that everything is but a meaningless arrangement of atoms. <laughs> everything you've ever known, seen, or experienced. Fortuitous circumstances. In the universal chaos, humanity emerged. Not a tiny bit more purposeful than the rest. But with an incredible faculty, that of creating meaning, however fleeting it may be. I have no inherent meaning, neither do you, but we can create, organize, put in order, and thus create purposes meaning, transcend the primordial chaos. All of humankind does though. We create machines that are useful to take control. Machines like the chair, the one that subsumed me. But maybe also that made me truly realize what impermanence means. For our numerous creations only have meaning as long as they are useful. And when finally they are unneeded, once again do they return to heaps of metal and wood and bone. Melted back into the universal chaos. Stripped of their inherent humanity. And all our bodies and all our minds in a similar fashion. I do not yet know what to do about this. Usefulness is an easy way to meaningfulness, but not a trustworthy one. It vanishes as quickly as we do, and so it seems the only hope humanity has for transcendence is through art. Meaningfulness pulled from our chaotic mind, not for utility, but for its own sake. And after the artist has been long gone, turned to dust, the art remains. And even after the last one of all humans will have returned to the primordial chaos, provided that we have protected it, art will remain. And so it is that art alone is left in our wake, the only veritable form of transcendence to ever have been in our grasp. Proof of our existence and of our pitiful efforts to raise from the chaos, as would some unknown script from a long gone power. I really like that. Oh, we're here. Well, well, now, Stella. As mode as Mandy is second, let's go. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm very nice. That whole thing was so poetic and it's very close to kind of how I feel about life. nice his wasn't like sad though you know like i like that he was just like okay i put together my art gallery uh now it's time to go you know oh okay the constellation gets me every time time
every freaking time. I need to talk to Francis. I don't even know if we got there in time, but I needed linen. Thanks, Francis. Alright. Oh, I needed two of each? God dang it, Francis. God dang it. Is it a, a crystal? No, it was a clear glass sheet. And a steel sheet. I needed two of each, and I thought I only needed one. Love that. <sighs> I think this is my second least favorite uh, mini game. Francis, don't fall asleep on me, old man. There we go. Got the freaking instrument. Gonna sleep. Okay, where do we want to go? I guess we'll just go back to the bus stop. Um, I know I want to go... Oh, I need- I still need to get the bottle back up. I'll get that shortly. Um... Do we have to go Oh, back to Overbrook? Ah. Uh, but I want to find Buck's friend. So that's Hummingbird, Bottom Line Corp, and Oxbury. Uh, let's see if anyone's hungry. Can I do this? Okay, we're going to start the event. I hate this event. There we go. I think that's all I needed was two. Where am I? Oh, there's a ton up here.
think that's all I needed. Uh, for the cellar. Yes. I feel like the cellar should be, like, on the bottom floor, but... I'm just gonna put it there. All right, hummingbird. Here. Here you go. What's that? Hey, that's what a cellar is? You put things in there and then you wait? That's it? Oh man, this is so boring. Not at all what I had in mind. I'm so disappointed. I wanted fires and explosions. <laughs> what will I do now? This is so awful. Well, this will be fun. <gasps> you make sauerkraut. And yogurt. Fun. All right, let's go to Hummingburg. Can't go on like this. I need something to eat and yesterday. I always like the words old and fashion, Squeaky. Something old is refined and wise. Something fashionable is cutting edge. That's what I want out of my meal. I'll be enjoying this old fashioned meal. All right, let's do the hardest part of running a D and D campaign is finding people to join consistently. Might take a chance, but shit, knowing I might get some bruises. This feeling got me thinking I might find you at the right time. <laughs> ah, Buck is finally ready. About time. I've spent all my pocket money on glittery dice. Same. Uh, I'm more than ready. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Him. I am the mighty M. Daryl of the... Oh, screw it. I'm Jerome. Okay. I know I should be in character, but whatever. Come on. What's the riddle? Hmm, I see. This one's a doozy. I need to think about it. But I'm sure I'll figure out where to go. Thanks! <laughs> Yay! One down, two to go. I don't think there's anything- there's no other, like, location-based things to do. What's for lunch? Do you have a snack or something? A word of advice, big cat. You should always have at least a cookie on you. Or applesauce.
You know, you like breakfast. Breakfast! Exactly the same as before. Awesome. Kid. My brother has been asking me where we're gonna get fed already. Wait, where are you going? What? That was weird. Uh. Eat back. Yeah, freak grub, finally. Alright. Hey, look what I drew. I did the shrine for you. Shrine of Bruce and Mickey. Aww. Oh, wait, I want to look at it. Oh, you can't really. Oh, this is a Bruce dog. It's a Bruce and. <laughs> oh, they're cute. Oh, Francis. Ugh. God damn it, Francis. Pancakes. Oh, I've never made cornbread. XP potion. Oh, you get funny? Oh, nebula fabric. Yeah. I don't remember what I need for Clear glass sheet. I need four clear glass sheets. Crash. Bottom line corp, I think, was the next. Let's go. More clear glass sheets. I might need to go. Lime powder. All right. Fine. Go again. There we go. Crush, 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 Nom, nom, om, nom. Kind of like it's eating them. <laughs> and spitting out dirt. Put like two googly eyes on the top of it, you know? That'd be cute. Do you have enough? Oh, I gotta make sure I. If it's brass or bronze. Is 
think two more? One more. Bang. There we go. sure you don't like when you're making glass i'm pretty sure you don't hit it like that right that uh, really sent me i double check oh i didn't have to i don't have to, i don't know why i'm Brah. two I need, need two brass sheets. And then we're done. God dang it. <laughs> okay, last one. Stop, it's hammer time. Hammer time, it's more like heavy metal. Time. That's not a good joke. Don't listen to me. Oh. All right, last one. Yay. Oh, look at that. Scout, get in here. Here. What was that? Huh. God, look at, look at this. Mickey loves it. This is exactly up his alley. Don't tell him this. But he wanted to upstage Romeo. You wouldn't know him. He's this guy from the South Shore. He's expensive. He has this awful man. He would boast around town about his house. Mickey hated him. Listen, we've been running enough running around. Yo, we've been doing enough running around. We should go somewhere. Take you out and relax a bit. Let me ask Mickey and think of something. Yay. Finally, that took a while. Oh, I forgot to be the other one. I think if you, it would be funny if you fed the chickens coffee that they got like really energetic or something. 
or any of the animals. Or like if you fed the cow strawberries, you can make strawberry milk. That's how that works, right? Oh. I see, it tells you... It's a lot. It tells you when it's done. Oh, right. Oh! Oh, this is a projection. Public service announcement. Announcement. Menacing sheep. Huh. I don't know what else to do with that, though. Alright, let's get our second person. For the D and D campaign. Or I guess it's I don't know. They never say D and D, I'm sure because of copyright issues, but let's get our second player. Drink from the necks of my enemies. Bubbly champagne tastes like equity. Take that, you capitalist pig. Love it. Oh. I stole the key from the boss's office yesterday. Our protest leader thought it would teach him a lesson. I won't give it up for nothing. Oh. Maybe a little bag of glims? Let's say an even 100. Up front. Oh. I do have a family to feed. Beautiful. Here it is. One key to the CEO's office. A hundred glims, that's nothing. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, that's not the office. Unions forever! I'm gonna eat two steaks tonight. Oh, we can bounce on. I haven't been here in a while. <gasps> awesome. Ooh, pancakes! And a crystal chandelier! Nice! Oh, this is the boss's office. Thanks for unlocking the door. I actually just went in the corner there. Sorry for the smell. Oh no. Here's a little something for your trouble. Those damn protesters. I mean, workers. I had to get used to that. Thousand glim. Yay. Oh, it goes all the way to the top. That's not useful. Oh, it just goes up and down. I see. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna buy more stuff. This. Garden Seed Sampler Pack. 12,000 glims. That's a lot.
buying a lot of seeds. Limestone, copper, ore. Oh, you can sell the draw. No, I would never ever sell those drawings. Um, and now we're going... Mickey had an idea. Apparently there's this place called Grey Mist Peaks. Shouldn't be far from here. Mickey thinks you're... Well, you both think you're doing a decent job. Listen, you've been asking a lot from me. Consider this our treat. A little camping trip for your effort. Some recognition for your discretion in affairs. You've never actually been camping. So we would do this... As a gift for you. Let's go take a look at some rocks and trees and shit. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a little suspicious as to why they'd want to go camping. <laughs> Big hat! That was so boring. I almost slept the whole time. Hey! I have an idea. Something that'll turn it around. I want to do a play. A theater play for everyone aboard. I have a story I want to tell. I'm gonna, it's going to be great. So, you got to invite your favorite friends. You can decide how many people you want. Find the best audience for my great play. Try yogurt? Whoa, thanks. This is so good. Sauerkraut. Uh. Oh, you're ready. I haven't even thought of a name for our cow. There was... I don't know if anyone watched the, um... The most important, uh, game... Sports game of the year, which is the Puppy Bowl. Um, but there was... This year there was a puppy named Moo Cow. And he was just this tiny little black and white dog. He's so cute. And his name was freaking Moo Cow. Oh, we can use the sauerkraut? What? What? What could it... Like the only thing... Oh, wait. Pork. Alright. Oh, we did not find his friend in bottom line court. Whoop. The whole reason we were here. A lot of people to talk. Maybe it's the guy up there. Wow! Buck sent you, finally! Oh, whoops, sorry. I mean, glad to finally make your acquaintance, Commander. I am indeed Wardrick the Bard. It was I composed the ode to Flabbergun the Drunk. I, who solemnly performed at the court of Queen Fluthian for her wedding, and I'll be the chronicler of the Silver Company once again. Pretty good, eh? <laughs> I love this character. Uh, yes, you can count on me. I will meet you all at the Naked Mole Bear Inn as planned. And in the meantime, I'll scour the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Waldbull in search of very precise information. 
I also need to tell my mom. Okay, gotta run. See ya. Oxbury, Ramus Peak. Invite your favorite friends to Stanley's place. Give Daria the train. Okay, and over. So, Oxbury, Ramus Peak. Okay, Ramus Peak is out there. Oxbury is here. I mean, either way. Just... Okay. Let's see if I can. Oh. Oh, it's almost done. Sauerkraut meal. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do with these yogurt. <gasps> Blueberry yogurt. <gasps> That's gonna be good. Is there anything else I need to make? Oh, uh. Pine planks, electrum. Make some pine planks. My least favorite thing to do. One hundred percent, baby, on that one. <gasps> Two in a row. Not quite. Ah, hubris. There we go. Oh, there we don't go. Here we stop. Phew. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, moose fruit. Or whatever. Already waiting for me. Would you look at that? <laughs> Would you look at that? This is what I'm talking about. The open air. Breathe it in, Scout. That's the good stuff. This reminds me. You should have these. Mickey says he doesn't want his. You can have mine, too. We don't need them anymore. Listen. I think we need to rethink your role in our organization. If Mickey doesn't mind, I'm gonna need you to run point on something. You'd have a more involved role, if you know what I mean. I'll fill you in when we get to the boat. Go do your thing. You've earned it. 
Well, hang back. Two obols. Ow. Oh. Wee-hoo. An excellent salesperson always carries what the customer needs. So, oh, my well-off patron, what can I do you for? Onion, ooh. Oh. I am maybe sending, spending too much money. is going off. Ooh, sauerkraut meal is 700 limbs. We are doing pretty good now. I don't even know how to go back. This is terrible. Okay, I don't even know how to go back. Damn it. <laughs> mm. 
I've planned this geyser sightseeing trip for years, but after I set up camp, I realized my perfect behavior prevents me from looking left. What a darn mistake. Tell me, does this geyser look as impressive as it sounds? Yeah. Why did you tell me? Now I'm even madder I can't see it. Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. These are some precarious campsites. I'm not gonna be able to get up there. All right. No. Dang it. Gotta wait again. Uh oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops, wrong button. came out this huh? there we go Your pilgrimage is over. Oh, what an incredibly single-minded, persistent journey this must have been. You have finally reached the holy shrine of St. Da Dacius. Mm. Thousands of years ago, St. Dacius anointed this statue. It is foretold that one day, Dacius' chosen, will, chosen one will be bestowed with his blessing. Ooh, shrine. And they will rescue all of us from the tyranny of this existence. Mm. Oh, but surely you already know that. Why else would you come? would you have come all this way? I'll leave you to your prayers. Blessings of St. Dacius upon you. Alright. Luckily, I had the obols. Yay! New power. Left shift to release Everlight energy and leap forward. Uh-oh. Whee! Oh, that's fun. Oh! So, you were the chosen one. What a wonderful day it is. Pretty soon, we will all be saved. Walk over to that cliff over there and let St. Dacius take talk to you from above. Ah! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go back to the boat. We're gonna take another break. Oh, it has to like reload. 
Whee! <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Ooh, be fun too. Guess I had already made that. Okay, I gotta take a break, and then I will come back, and then probably about another hour. We'll see how I feel. Uh, okay. Enjoy your break. Hello, hello, welcome back. I know we're not doing cat cam today, but the cats do not know that. <laughs> gotta give them. There we go. Um, and now, uh, Oxbury, I guess. From my house, I could always see the snow way up in the mountains. Sometimes there was snow on our house, too. My dad wanted me to go outside with him. We played in the snow. Then he'd run after me. Suddenly he became a monster! Oh, but don't worry. Uh, it was all make-believe. I know my dad wasn't a real monster. But when he put his arms up and made a funny voice, I just ran. <laughs> he chased me. But he couldn't catch me up. Because then he became my dad again when I stopped and he started laughing. I miss the snow sometimes. Wait, I need to talk to you. I'm hungry. It's illegal to let children go hungry. I don't think you'd like sauerkraut. Okay. Am I a champion? I am now gonna eat this breakfast. Yeah. Like I was saying, you're gonna need to step up in our organization. If this operation is ever gonna survive, we'll need to pull a big one. A big score. I've been planning this job with my brother for a while. He doesn't want to do it now. I need you to step in and help out. So listen, here's the tape. I need you to stock up on carrots. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Carrots. I'm not talking about a few. I'm talking about a shitload of carrots. That's the thing we need for this job. If it doesn't make sense to you, that's too bad. You don't need to know everything. That's why I call the shot. Um, a hundred carrots. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, easy. Hundred carrots. No problem. Oh, um. Fried crop. Uh, where is it going? Up here. Um.
Right, uh... So many heckin' carrots. Rigel. You're not a carrot. I do not need you. Thank you. I know you're orange, but you're not a carrot. Definitely not a carrot, my dude. Okay. Let's get out of here so we don't have to listen to Alex's music anymore. Let me get Rigel out of here. Perfect timing. All right. Here, that lemonade tomato juice stand is done. Everyone could see it coming from a mile away. It was out of this world. Police sirens, SWAT team, a major bust. Someone must have ratted him out. Apparently, they had someone running the product from island to island. Still looking for that person. That's us. <laughs> oh no, no leads yet. This island is dry as bones now. You should have seen it. It was intense. Hello, friend. Hi. See ya. On my way to a happy day. Oxbury is the place, right? Yeah. I just went to that apartment over there. I met this woman in a bar this afternoon. I got dressed up, put on aftershave. We took a taxi back to her place. We kissed right there, at, outside. There are pictures of her husband, her kids on the wall. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll see each other again. She asked for my number. I don't even know if I know her name. What's wrong with being the other man? What's wrong with the second place? I think I need a minute. Okay. Let's find our friend. Hey, I think I'll buy some corn for dessert. Why not? I'm feeling out of control. Well, well. <laughs> ha! Finally. No, I won't bow before you. I know who you are, and although I respect your reputation, I am Elperin, Ranger of the Seventh Moon. And Rangers of the Seventh Boon Moon bow to no one. As the leader of this glorious silver company, I will uphold once again the Crusader's mantle. Some preparations need to be made, and then yes, I will ride my noble steed and regroup with you all. Go, reunite the fellowship. For the time has come, and adventure cometh once more. Yay! Do you sell carrots? No. Oh, I can do this now. Wee hoo hoo! Commander, this is utterly fantastic. The Silver Company has answered the call once again. We will soon traipse once more on the Elysium Fields of Adventure. May the eleven stars bless your heart, Commander. You truly have been an indomitable herald of bravery. Now our next step will lead us to a shifty tavern. A naked mole bear inn nested in the frozen mist of the white... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I almost got through all of that, but the naked mole bear inn just got me. Uh, nested in the frozen mists of the white hamlet of Nordweiler. But before our appearance at the mysterious premises, there's a little something we should accomplish, Commander. 
I certainly am entertaining the content concept of sustenance. Yeah, we cannot come empty-handed. That would, wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, look. We should bring munchies. Otherwise, everyone will be miserable. Let's say some popcorn. A corn dog would be nice, too. Oh, yeah. For dessert? Coffee. Yeah, that should do it. All right. Where was I already? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, this undertaking might very well be below your level, Commander, but it shall be a well-earned respite in our quest for justice and glory. Onward! Alrighty. Popcorn, corn dog, coffee. A lot of care. Oh, right, we have to invite people to Stanley's play. Okay, and next, next we go to Overbrook. Kind of did that out of order, but oh well. Okay, who do we want to invite to Stanley's play? Definitely Buck. He's so cute! Oh, I have not fed him. Uh, what do we think he likes? Let's try beef on Oh! Blessed be the stars! I salute your inside, Commander. You astutely guessed that my heart would be brimming with joy at the sight of a good old-fashioned meal. An ancestor of the light of epic resonance. Many thanks. May the lords of Waran accompany you in your path. Oops, sorry, I spit on a bit. <laughs> ah, sounds fun. I love to play. All right, I assume that that was me inviting him. Wow. And I'm going to invite Beverly. Wow. She also likes old fashioned. Wow. If it's old fashioned, then it's tried and true. Nothing beats reliability, sweet pea. That sounds lovely, dear. See a show? Maybe grab a drink? That sounds like quite the evening. Um, and then... Oh, hold on. No, I guess... Yeah. I've got a great idea. Now that you've found some volunteers, we just need to find a place for the play. I was thinking the big city, Oxbury. Oh, we're kind of close. All those lights, all those buildings. It'll be awesome! Alright. Alright, we're going... We're over brick to give... Daria. The instrument. Uh, this way, I guess? No, come back! <gasps> Just made it. What do we think Daria likes? Fruit? Fresh, delicate, juicy, delicious fruit. Thank you. And we'll give you the strange instrument. Oh, is that? It's... Yes, the instrument from my dream. How oddly familiar. How comforting. I think, Stella, that I once knew how to play it. My, my memories are hazy. Or rather, my memories are too many. And I know better than to trust them. So many lifetimes, far too many to fit in this tiny life of mine. But this instrument, I know it, I'm sure of it. Thank you for the gift. Here's payment for your services. Leave me alone now, I have some practicing to do. And when you come back, perhaps I'll play for you. Uh, breakfast, bathroom, acquired taste, maybe. Damn right, a meaty dish. 
You know, Stellars, I'm a big boy. Only meat can give me the protein to sustain my body. It ain't rocket science. Alright. Whee! Oh. What the hell? WTH. I told you not. Talk with Daria. And give her an. an Remit. <laughs> what is your problem? Get your ass here. Hey. AIDS up. <laughs> New request The incident. What the shit are y'all looking at, huh? I didn't do nothing wrong, all right? It was that gosh darn psycho nookies up there. She just lashed out at me. She's a lunatic. I've said it for years. We should just pump her full of pills and be done with it. Oh. Oof. Ableism right there. No answer, huh? That's what I thought. Bunch of freaking losers. Huh, what? Oh, you're there. Final freaking Lee. What took you so long? Were you checking out the birds and the pretty clouds on the way here? Well, I could have used your help for one. Oh, you want to know what happened, don't you? I'll tell you what happened. You happened! I told you that she was unstable. I told you that she needed to be left alone. But no, you couldn't leave it to the professionals. Little Miss Perfect is had to stick her nose in everyone's business. She was already... ...out there to begin with, and then you give her that freaking instrument. Made with glass and sharp steel? Are you out of your goddamn mind? So yeah, I go in and I try to take over Mert and then... And then... Oh, whatever. This job is not about you, Stella. It's not about feeling good. It's about safety. It's about keeping us safe from these people. And keeping them safe from themselves. What? Calm down? You calm down. I swear this freaking place. I can't take it anymore. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I won't take it anymore because I quit. Ah, you can all go to hell. And you, have fun taking care of these people. So long, shit stain. And don't bother calling, I won't answer. I'm quick. I heard all of that. That orderly, Jackie. He's always been a loose cannon, but he's gone too far this time. Things are really bad out here. He's the worst thing to happen to Overbrook since mandatory nighttime slop. I can't believe what he did for Tadaria. She's usually so quiet. She keeps to herself. She only had one thing, her music. And, well, she fought to protect it. What a mess. This place has really fallen on some hard times. We need better living conditions, and we need fresh meals. We need proper medical care. We are here to be cured, not forgotten or ill-treated. I'm not waiting on the staff. Not even on management. I'm taking matters into my own hands. But I'm going to need some help. Possibly by someone with a boat and people skills. What do you say? You don't need to answer. I just know you're already in. Alright, let's start. Here's a list of potential candidates. You'll need to find capable people. We can't have the situation happening again. I'm counting on. Oh, she's asleep. Okay. So what do I have to do now? Oh, shenanigans. A chef. 
Gorman, Gardner. Okay, that, that's Janannigan. Is Jackie coming with me? I guess not. Okay. What are we doing next? Definitely going to Oxbury. Bye, Francis. Oh. Ten eggs. Amazing. May I? Hello, Commander. As a hero of... Of... Damn, I should have read the scripts sooner. Oh well, never mind. Yeah, I'm taking a pause. And you should too. It's always a good moment when we're in between games to browse through your character sheet. Maybe think of what you'll do next with your XP. But don't worry, I'll soon be ready. What did you think of the beginning of Gornemelos story arc? Pretty cool, eh? I've taken as a basis the Dungeon of Destruction. Sprinkled here and there a few elements from the Masks of Imahep, Imhotep, and added the single best magic item from the Royal Campaign. Ah, and I'll let you in on a little secret. Remember one eye Om Omgroth Rog from the Three Towers? Yeah, remember him? I've added him to the campaign! Converting his stats to the new edition was a pain in the butt, though. But I'm so excited. Alright, alright, I'll go back to my notes. Can't be ready soon enough. See ya! That was really cute. Here, uh, you don't pay here. Here, two tomatoes, maybe. Coffee beans. Well, we. I don't know if I'm do this, but I'm just gonna do it. Alright. Oxbury, let's go! You have a snack or something? Word of advice, Big Cat. You should always have a spicy or apple sauce. Food, oh, fruit is not my friend. I do not want it around. Right. Um. Uh. <laughs> he's so hard to feed. Old fashioned probably just won't love. Whoa, thanks. This is so good. I have to make more popcorn now, but that's okay. Aw, hey big cat. I'm so excited. This is going to be the best. Are you ready to watch my play? Yes. Get ready. There's a girl with a big hat. She's tall. She runs around everywhere. She does everything. So beautiful. There's this big gate. It's huge. It's shiny. Where is it anyway? That girl knows. Because when you're ready, she takes you. Okay, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry at the play. Then you leave with her. 
It's long. Everyone else is sad. Then, boom! Big lights! And a big rumble! Explosion! Wind! Dust! Smoke everywhere. Everything is quiet for a second. Oh no. Then we don't get to see our friend again. That's when the real pain starts. Oh. This mushroom is going to make me cry. <laughs> the end. Thank you for coming. I'm playing one act. I don't want Stanley to disappear just like a fool did without even going to the gate. figure out how to cook Alaska. Okay, Stanley's still here. I wish these were like an alphabetical order. Something. Berry and sweetener. And then. Uh, I don't have it. was amazing, right? I'm sure everyone liked it. Please, Stella, go and ask around. But uh, wait, wait, wait. Don't flat out ask about it. Don't make it too obvious. Be cool, big hat. What was the other... Corn dog. Hold on, Stanley. Okay, we're only gonna, gonna do one. I don't want to waste a bunch of. Awesome. I have like a few more. I'm gonna see what we need to do to make a second corn dog. Corn flour and pork. I don't think I have pork. No. Flour. Let's see. Um look at Puck. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh, I know you're hungry too. Okay. Oh, right. Fruit is not my friend. Whoa, thanks. This is so good. All right. Uh, what were we doing? Oh, uh, going to get pork. Oh, they have it here. Cool. Dear Stella, Daria has recently requested that you visit at your earliest convenience. Regards, Overbrook's caretaker. I have a present for you. I found this in my room and I thought you might need it. Ooh. gonna take a while. Ask Beverly and Buck about the play. Okay. I could have stayed home and watched the ocean. Oh. That, that was a bit boring. No wizards, no dragons, no traps, no elves. Not for me, sorry. But the child has guts and imagination. He will no doubt be a great dungeon master in a few years. <laughs> what did they say? Really? Really? They all said they liked it? Okay, I was gonna- if they gave me the choice, I was gonna lie. <laughs> and tell them it was fine. Really, really liked it? Are you sure, big cat? I don't know. I'm not convinced. I can see it on your face. They told you they liked it, but it was not good. It was terrible, and I didn't do it right. I know it, even if you're trying to hide it. I just can't do nothing right. I'll never make another play. I hate it. No. Oh. I liked it. Commander, your humble servant needs to. Oh, haha, uh, oops. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but it's fun, you know. I love being your humble servant and telling stories and crafting masters and having a dungeon master screen. What I don't like, though, is that I'm the only one buying all the books and usually preparing everything. But Bob, Brian, and Jerome are cool enough. I mean, yeah, they could for sure make an effort. Brian is chill, though. That being said, I always have to remind him of the rules for flank. Well, me or Jerome, anyway. That guy, polar opposite, doesn't give a single frack about role-playing. He only wants to roll dice and find loopholes in the rules. Yeah, it pisses me off. But hey, at least Bob usually backs me up. Well, maybe Bob is in character a bit too much? But hey, who am I to judge? Each D&D &D group has at least one of each. Yay, alright. 
Stella, 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 Stella! Guess what? They've finally corrected the second module of the weapon manual. They've added the critical tables on finesse weapons and clarified the rules of engagement. Right when I was about to call it quits on war and worms. You know, I was legit worried that it would go down the 2.5 edition path. Yeah, I know, I'm not mincing words. Remember how they modified the spell casting system? Haha, <laughs> if as if W and W was a kid's game such as Sorcery the Reunion. Man, even after all these years, I'm still mad at it. Wait, no, come back! Don't fly away from me! Fuck! I need to give you the food you asked for. My sincerest apologies for pestering you with such mundane requirements, Commander. But your humbled servant feels the need for sustenance. I would gladly accept the smallest of scraps from your magnificent cooking skills. Okay, first things first. It does like old fashioned. That's fine. Oh, wait. That's a it contains fruit, doesn't it? I'm sorry, Commander. I unfortunately cannot accept your generous donation. Fruit are sacred according to the holy scriptures of Dor Uman, of which I am a pious follower. It is utterly forbidden to even think about someone thinking about eating one. I cannot ingest them by faith. Yes, by faith. That's funny. Uh... Humble thanks, Commander. These sustenance is right on time. My hunger was reaching level one. Hmm, that popcorn smells great. Man, Brian won't stop talking. Corn dog. Right on. Some good old corn dogs. Jerome and I don't always agree, but our friendship has been cemented by our mutual love of corn dog. That toffee is perfect. Wow, it looks so yummy. Bob will be delighted. Wonderful job. Yay, Stella. Gotten everything. Oh, damn. Sorry. Mm -hmm. By the lords of Waron, our fellowship's larder has now been filled up to the brim with delectable victuals. Commander, victory won't have been simply earned on the battlefield, but in the kitchen, too. Now let's soar swiftly and sprucely to the modest hamlet of Nordweiler. The Silver Company is bursting with impatience. The naked mulberry inn's walls will forever see in the stones imprinted the memories of our congregation. Give the order, Commander. Fate awaits. Alright. Even more eggs, please. Thank you. Alright. Um. Alright, okay. Are we? No, we. Okay, we're gonna go back to Overbrook. Oh my goodness. Wonder if we can upgrade. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh my god! Figurines, posters, and powerful weapons! Okay, oh, we need a diamond for this? Okay, silk. Silver. Well made. Silver. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Whew. 
All right. I want to get those minis for Buck. God, those are expensive. And homemade paper, linen thread, carpet. Okay, that shit's it's hard. Made foods. Is it good foods? Wait, no, back. Foods is good. Uh, actually, I'm a little bit hungry now. I think we'll probably go for like another half an hour, maybe. This is like the longest line ever. Ooh. There goes my watch. Stella! You really are here. I asked for you. I asked the guards. No, the... The guardian? This room felt like a cage. And now... I'm told that I am free. Free? Uncertain. The freedom might be a trick, I thought. A sinking of the light, a twisted mirror, a... Uh, no. You are here. Magic. I am... I... Uh, thank you for coming. I... I am not as I was when we... When last we met, Stella. You see, I am adrift on an ocean. Of my own making. And I've come to realize that... That... I cannot produce words. I shout them over the endless expanse of water where they die down to whispers and insig insignificant ripples. And... And I believe that you can still hear them. You are one who listens. Who knows how to listen. You can illuminate the ocean's starless night. The instrument you have given me, gifted me, and... Uh, you remember my song, don't you? Please, go outside and play. It shall guide me. I believe you will understand. Aww. Uh, mixed cheese and Parmesan fried meatball morsels with a four cheese marinara sauce to dip. I'm a vegetarian. If I wasn't a vegetarian, that that sounds so good, Dad Beard. I can appreciate a good meal even if I wouldn't eat it myself, you know? Play Daria's song outside of Daria's room. Okay. You could do the same thing with a mushroom stuffed zucchini bite. See, I do not like mushrooms or zucchini that much. Oh. Whoa. When you first climbed up the tower, you saw only a fragile thing, deserving of care and empathy. You did not see the steely bonds with which the giant had stilled me, and neither did you see the tumultuous sea underneath, and how it grew angrier and angrier in accordance to the giant's fickle spirit. No, you saw the pain and neglected the wound. Whoa. Wait. Oh, too far. Oh, oh. Oh, okay, I get it. Mmm, topping out the mini peppers? Ooh, that would be good. Yes. That I would absolutely go for. Oh! Oh my gosh, I almost fell. It is unsurprising, then, that you were unready for the giant's last dying spasm. For his encounter with demons of his own that would break his will. 
Unsurprising and understandable was your confusion. When the invisible but raging sea swept me away, and where, unmoored and unweighed as I was, I sunk to the deepest depth. All of a sudden, this is a platformer. These depths I knew well, and had hoped to never visit them again. Within them roamed all manners of vicious beasts, toothed, fanged, and scaled, hungry always for suffering and pain, for doubts, memories, and mind, every single morsel. To survive, I thrashed and I flailed, so much so that I managed to shed my bonds along with strands of myself. And the beasts, as expected, promptly devoured them. Oh. Uh oh. Lightened as I was, I floated back to the surface, far from the beast. It was there that gentle hands plucked me from a gentler sea. And there, as I was lying surrounded by wispy figures, neither good nor bad, I contemplated an image that had been burned in my empty mind. For through the nests of the beasts, a strange glimmer caught my eye, remnants and wrecks from past voyages, containing treasures of a past long forgotten. Uh, cream cheese and topping out stuffed mini peppers that are then fried in a Parmesan cheese mix and served with a four cheese marinara sauce. You're making me hungry, Dad Beard. That sounds so freaking good. Figured out what you can make you if you ever come up north. Ah, oh, that'd be freaking delicious. Oh my goodness. I, I'm like legit hungry now. Hey. What did you do? Seriously, spit it out. Daria seems to really have responded to you. I've never seen her like that. So vibrant. I don't know what you did, but it did wonder. And another thing, what's going on with Overbrook? I've worked here for ages and it never changes. Odd things have been happening ever since you came around. One minute everything is going to shit. The power is constantly going in and out. We've got rats as big as dogs. It's always raining. Then, poof, things are turning around. They're still bad, but less bad. You know, it's like, I still can't swim. But I don't have monster-sized rats trying to eat my feet. But you know what I think? I think all of these changes, they're related to you and that weird-looking vending machine. Don't make that face, I mean it. Listen, I've never used it personally. I don't believe in money and the concept of spending said money. But whenever we you use it, weird stuff happens. More good than weird. Still, it's pretty weird. So I'm thinking, you should just go all out and buy a bunch of stuff from the vending machine. Really let yourself loose. If it magically brings new life to this place, who am I to stand in the way? Also, it might cheer up Daria and everyone else in this depressing hellhole. I won't keep you. Enjoy your snacks at the vending machine. Fingers crossed for the weird good stuff. Alright. That stuttering is not... It seems to only happen when I glide. The only crispy burlap men is an obol. Oh, I've already gotten it, I guess. Health nut. I guess that explains why it does that when you buy some. Oh. Need more radiant spring. Guess it does get a little bit nicer every time I buy something, huh? Oh, plays Daria's song somewhere near the power station at Oakbrook. Okay. Where's the power station? 
I guess it's over this way, huh? Maybe up here? I think it'll- there'll be like an interactive area. Like... Ah, here. is so deeply ingrained I could never forget it. Today I started hearing the noise. Faintly at first, then louder and louder yet. <laughs> Fuck. Distant drops of water that I, only I could hear. Perhaps I saw it as a sign that I could no longer fit within the warm confines of the family home. And so I left, seeking the source of the noise. Yeah, it's a garbage. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, messed that one up. There we go. In the beginning of my quest, the land was gentle. I remember the tender grass and the soft wind. I kept following the sounds of the droplets, all the while paying little attention to the waters rising at my feet. Soon enough, I was wading through a murky and dark flood, surrounded by a thick fog, and yelps and growls and glimmers. There is not much to remember, a vagrancy that lasted an eternity. No dive can ever restore these memories. They have been wiped clean, picked to the bone, just as though they never existed, as if fallen through cracks in time. Still, they were the mud and scratches bear witness. Yeah, it's a little hard on my eyes. <laughs> oh boy. My hunger is making this harder. The waters are so high now, nothing pierces them. An the endless ocean, unbearably calm. The murk has dissipated, and the water's clearer than it has ever been. The flip-flopping has stopped. And so, with nowhere to go but down, I dive. But I must do so carefully, delicately. Lest I disturb the silt that has, through the eons, set into a peaceful but fragile blanket. Ooh, we got more radiant spring. Oh, I see. So we we go back and forth between buying things from the vending machine and then talking to Daria and doing all that. Thank you. 
Thank you. And what does it say? Oh. Play Daria's song somewhere in the cafeteria. Is so beautiful. This wreck lies hidden among the reefs and the mud. Only a faint glow betrays its presence. It lies on it lies on its side, abandoned and forgotten. But as I get closer, the noise hits me. Voices, happy and sad, playful bangs and clangs. Within the ship live a great many deal of faceless shades: mother and father, unruly brothers and sisters cacophony that is enticing and dreadful at once. Ah! Ah! Ooh! Ah. I feel like I'm playing Celeste. I was not good at that game. Ah. Oh shit. The, the platforms have to exist for me to be able to stand on them. I get that. Ah, I did it. One of the shades escapes me. It is protoform and atonal. Insubstantial. It has a ghostly quality that I cannot easily understand, and it seems to actively resist focus. It takes some convincing for me to accept it for what it is an echo of a previous self, remnants undevoured by the depth, unaware of them even. A treasure of incommensurable value. I meet it with cautious curiosity. Oh my god, I was hoping that was the last one. Here we go. <sighs> Dang it. And suddenly I am filled with sadness, for I realize or remember one essential truth that perhaps I would rather not remember. The tableau before me exudes a chaotic happiness, a family brought together by conflicts and laughter.
This is hard. <laughs> oh, boy. <gasps> okay. Oh, no. Ah. All right, come on. Do, 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 do. There we go, and then... Made it. If at any point some all powerful painter were to judge the tableau and remove the ghastly lone shade from it, nothing of the composition would be affected. Unnoticed and untouched. Oh. The last, last one. Be. I think it might be. Yeah. Oh, there's two more items. Crackers for animals. Oh, I should have read the description. Ah, this is sold out now. Oh, but I did. Oh, play Daria's song somewhere around the vending machine. Oh. One more. After an eternity of drifting, this place took me in. You would not have recognized me. Sunburnt, cracked, bursting at the seams. A mind bloated with the muddy thoughts of the self and of the other. Useless to try to sprout back from the depths. Ah! Ah! <laughs> No! Oh my gosh, okay. Hard. <sighs> you have to like jump before it like uh becomes solid. Oh my god! <laughs> no! <sighs> oh my god. 
That was just on me. That was just totally my bad. There we go. They bound me here with coarse mooring. And when I roared and thrashed and raved, they only tightened the bond, brutish method. But as I came to understand a vicious one, for while they could not see the raging ocean with its winds and tempests and its waves that I was forced to breathe in, leaving me hurt and sickly, they seemed to understand that I should not be allowed to think. This was a trip I would not survive. No. Ah! Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. Things have changed now. The new caretakers, they are different. Nary a sound. They move graciously. They wear soft gloves and velvety shoes. They secretly busy themselves around me. An unseen army of shades and ghostly servants. Always making sure that I never go wanting. And then, Stella, there is you. Moorings, but of a different kind. You are the only one who understands the sea. That it is not something to be scared of, but a miracle to be celebrated. A reliquary of strange and alien treasures, overwhelming in their otherworldly beauty. Only you can explore the strange world with me. An anchor, a buoy, and a lifeline all at once. Thank you, Stella. gonna buy that. You stole my precious Muriel Sticky Davi. It had my name written on it and everything. Just my luck. Half the time they get stuck coming down the machine because they're so sticky. Oh, I've wasted so much time and effort trying to get that delicious toffee. And you just get it on the first try. No fair. Give it back. Please, please, please. Listen. We can trade for it, okay? 
Thank you so much. Muriel Sticky Toffee is the only thing that soothes my toothache. <laughs> ah, sweet tea toffee. Space sticks. Experience the colors of the cosmos in stick board. And that's it. You know Dari is going to make me cry. What do you think you like? Fruit, right? No, I need something fresh. Delicate. Okay. Fresh, delicate, juicy, delicious fruit. Thank you. I love how she eats it. Have we been able to give her a hug yet? Wait. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute! Oh, fuzzy and soft. Delicate. Look at all the colors! Wow! I can barely recognize this place. It's a good kind of beige now. It is still just a hospital. Mm. And see, I told you that vending machine was magic or something. I'm happy and all, but it's super creepy. What? An all-powerful snack dispenser capable of changing the laws of physics? You don't find that creepy? You're right. What am I even saying? That's not possible. I probably just need glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm just blind now. Overbrook is just a totally normal hospital and I can't see properly. I won't question it any longer then. Thank you, I suppose. Alright. Oh, wait, I want to see what kind of food you can get now. Ooh, french fries. Yay. Alright. Okay, I think we're just about ready to wrap it up. I'm going to get back to the boat. Ooh, wow, that was kind of intense. But really good. Oh, you can see the colors from the from the boat. Bella, I've been thinking about my play and how people didn't like it. It's okay. As mom says, they are entitled to their hope opinion. Hope onion. <laughs> I'm not angry or sad anymore because. I guess there are things in life you can't really control, can you? Like... Big hat. I don't think I can be here anymore. Oh, no. You should go to the Everdoor. Will you come with me? Oh, I think I'm scared. I don't think I like new places that much, but if you're with me, I think it will be alright. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we're gonna- that's the last thing we're gonna do today. Oh, I'm just gonna- this is- this one's gonna make me cry. Great way to end the stream. Balling. <laughs> Stretch. I hope everyone has some good plans for the rest of the day. Out. My brother's dying over here. We need food. The time was 30 minutes ago. Well, they like garlic bread, but... 
think we like french fries. Oh, now I want french fries. It's stuff more pub food. Yeah, here's Alex. Cheer me up. Yay, Alex! not bring someone to the Everdorm. <laughs> so hungry. Commander, I'm sorry to require but a fragment of your precious time, but I'd gladly accept a modest meal. A vile hunger tortures my inner old fashioned brain. Thanks, friend. Humble thanks, Commander. This is right on time. My hunger was reaching level one. There you are. Give me one last meal. Oh wow, dessert again. I could eat dessert at every meal all the time. Thank you, big cat. I'm confused. You're at the Everdoor, but... Oh, okay. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, big hat! Can we go yet? You decide! Thanks. Oh, here we go! My precious little mushroom baby! Come on! Forgot. I liked it when it was just you and me doing experiments and running around chasing dust shades. Don't forget to do that sometimes. I won't be there, but I'm sure it will still be fun. He's crying. He's crying. I don't like this. this game is making me feel sad. People can be mean. Really mean. Why do they have to be? My mom is mean sometimes. Uh, just like your friends after my play. And it makes me sad when people are mean. And sometimes I cry when I'm sad. But then I remember. I remember what my dad used to say. Stanley, people are not really mean. Sometimes their intentions just take the wrong path. I don't hate your friends. They're not bad people. What my dad would say. They just do bad things. And I never wanted to let mom down. Or make people not like me. I don't want to do bad things. But sometimes I do. And I always regret it. I don't think that makes me bad. Do you think mom will be disappointed in me? Disappointed that I had to go? I tried. I really tried. But I don't think I did it. Nico! <laughs> Welcome in, friends. I'm gonna cry so hard. We're saying goodbye to Stanley. <laughs> I like it when I win. But I couldn't this time. I- oh, yeah. <laughs> Every- 
It's, it's fine. It's fine. You could not help it. I'm glad you're here, Nico. <laughs> I think it's okay. It's okay to lose some time. I really think it is. I'm really trying to be brave. You're happy you're here too? Oh. But I'm I'm really scared. I wish I could be a superhero. And never be brave. I've hoped so much that this was just a nightmare. If this is a nightmare, why can't I wake up? I was trying. Trying and trying. I wanted to wake up. I always talk to myself. Stanley wants to wake up. But it never worked. I know. I never woke up. It all felt so real. And it made me sad. So sad, I couldn't think of anything other than sadness. <laughs> you take care of Jacob, okay? Jacob is a good beetle. He was my friend. <gasps> this is exactly like in my play! Uh, but this time, I am the lead actor. I will put on a good show, I promise. Stanley is so heartbreaking. Because, like... Just a kid. Didn't deserve to be here. I feel strange. I feel cold. I wish mom was here. And dad. Uh, but you're here, big hat. I really like you. I can't. Why does this game do this to me? I hope it's like falling asleep. Cry. I was already crying, but <laughs> that big hug, right? Is okay. I, I mean, I, I knew, I knew this was gonna happen. mushroom hat you wish you could give me a big hug with your consent of course oh Nico I wish that too it's so hard to play this game with other people but like you can't like hug each other because it's just oh it's so much <laughs> oh it's so much I've cried almost every time we've we've ushered someone through the ever door Like, of course I have. It's sad. But it's also, like, it's sad in a nice way. <laughs> and then these are Stella's memories. <gasps> oh, that scared me. God, what happens if I fall? Go all the way back.
And you go, I'm sorry you came in at such a, a sad time. Oh, my God. oh the hat! Oh. It's all good. I I mean yeah, like I yeah, like I said, I'm glad you're here, but I like of course. You forgot how sad this game was. Have you played through all of it? Or I assume you've at least seen it, because yeah, it's really sad. <laughs> like it's really happy and beautiful at times, but it's also really sad at times. You you didn't go this far, but you're happy you could watch it play. Oh. oh I'm almost done with it. As foretold, here we are again, Spiritfarer, for the last time. Feeble and helpless, a faint murmur drifting in silence. Whispered words, a simple question. Why did you choose this life, Stella? Why did you spend its ushering others through their final moments? Was your vocation an affectionate duty born? Okay, I'm crying again. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, was your vocation an affectionate duty born of compassion? Or a display of selfishness? Of everlasting uncertainty? Did you do it for them? Or for yourself? To know me and grow accustomed with my presence? To conquer me? Am I less daunting to you now? Or am I still a ghastly shadow? A deafening absence? Remember, when your body failed, you knew. You'd seen it a thousand times. You knew I would come. You fought valiantly, yet suffered all the same. I was deep within your heart as I had always been. In your final moment, you accept my call. Sorry, I just noticed in the memory of Stella's death, there's flowers and they're shaped like stars, like, like Stella's hat. <laughs> that made me cry more. You accept my call. You sl slowly draw your last breath, and here we are. You know this is the end. But you're not alone. Embraced by the love of your mother. And now your sister. She is here, holding your hand. Go now. You are not alone. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like bawling. Oh my god, because we're learning more and more about Stella. I guess she was. <sighs> and this is Stella's flower. Oh <laughs> no! Oh no! <laughs> oh! <laughs> God, this is definitely the most I've cried on stream. <sighs> I know, I know. I'm late. I couldn't get off work earlier. Oh, parking in this part of town is a mess. And this place, it's a maze. Listen to me. I'm going on about the parking, and look at you. You awake? Oh no. This is her sister? How are you holding on? Can you hear me, sis? <laughs> oh no. Lily. Oh. Can you say Lily is my favorite sister for me? Well, it's true. I'm your only sister, so you don't have a choice here. I wish I could hear your voice. I'd rather have you screaming, Lily, get out of my room. I'd rather have you laughing. <laughs> I'd even rather have you snoring. 
Let me come a bit closer. Mom's asleep. It's late, I know. Jeez, I'm two hours late. Sorry again. No wonder Mom's passed out. Oh, I have a surprise for you. I swung by the house yesterday and got some things. Well, two things. First, oh, where is it? There we are. Uh, voila. A bottle of single, single malt from Mom's secret stash. Don't worry, I'll do the drinking and the talking for both of us. And this. Your photo. <laughs> your photo album. It's got some good ones. Cute baby pictures. Big family gatherings. Embarrassing college parties. The works. Let's start at the beginning. Stella, the adorable baby. Jeez, being this cute should be illegal. <sighs> Give me a second. I'll pour myself a drink. Oh, look at this one. You're so tiny. Where was this taken? What does it say on the back of your picture? Of the picture. Elmar, I'll sigh. 1973. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can hug the flower. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't think. I thought we were gonna end the stream before we ended the. Oh my god, the hug. I... Oh, and of course, Stanley's flower is a mushroom. Okay, I guess we're not quite done. Is... Okay, uh, but now. <laughs> I don't know. Cause like now it's still letting me do stuff. What? I guess. Okay. Okay. I guess there's still more to do. Part of me wants to push. No, I gotta. I gotta. Ugh. No, I, it's okay. I I said we were going to finish it over the next two streams. That's what we're going to do. It seems like... Oh, I just want to keep playing, though. Uh, uh. Nordweiler. Right here. I mean, there's parts of the map I haven't even, like, looked at. No, I'm tired, and I'm sad, and I'm hungry, so I think we're gonna go ahead and, and um, end stream here, and then we'll pick up on Wednesday, and we'll most likely finish the game. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I do, sometimes I do this where I'm like, I'm gonna push through to the end, and I was like, no, I'm gonna be hungry and cranky by the end, and that's not a good way to do this. Oh! If I make my face big, you're gonna see all my tears. <laughs> but that's okay! It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to cry. Especially with a sad game like that. Oh my goodness. Oh! Okay. Big deep breaths. It is okay to cry. Oh, Nico, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you for being here through the sad part. It's so good to see you. I- oh! So I- quit my job, which is great. I no longer work for Target. And I can say it now because I don't work there. Um, and I, which also means I don't have to get up at 3.30 in the morning, which means I can actually stay up later and actually like come to your streams. That's why I was saying that. Nico, hopefully I'll be able to catch your streams soon because, oh my gosh, I miss you. I miss you so much. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, 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 we got a Discord link. 
Um, we got socials if you want to follow me on socials. I miss you always too. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I gotta get through this. <laughs> so, um, we were gonna have a fundraiser on March 31st. I had to cancel it because that was also the last day at work and it it was very frustrating. It was a bad day at work and it was my last day at work, so I, I canceled the fundraiser or I postponed it. Uh it's now gonna be this coming Friday, April 14th, uh, eleven AM Pacific. Uh we're still raising money for Trans Week of Visibility for Trans Lifeline. It's gonna be great. Um excuse me. We're gonna have some great uh uh goals and rewards <laughs> um i'm gonna be playing Fortnite and dead by daylight and you're gonna have there's gonna be dixper it's gonna be great and fantastic i really hope everyone can be there um and if you can't you sh uh actually, i actually have to double check on the tiltify but um i'll i'm gonna open or keep it open so you people can donate early if they want to as well um and there's more info on discord as well uh so yeah i'm very excited about it i apologize for having to postpone um but it'll be freaking fantastic um well yeah uh okay big deep breaths again in and out <laughs> oh um let's see who maybe we could raid today i kind of mm, you know what i'm really feeling <laughs> is chickens we're gonna raid our chicken life because <laughs> i need that in my life right now Uh, Our Chicken Life is a great, like, almost 24-hour live stream of chickens. And I love them so much. Um, And you can, like, subscribe and, like, give bits and stuff, and it'll feed the chicken treats and apples and stuff. It's so, it's so great. Nico, thank you for being here. Thank you, everyone, for the subs as well. I love you all so much. This game is so good, but it's so, so full of tears. Um, and I will see y'all on Wednesday to finish Spiritfarer, hopefully. Oh, and next game after Spiritfarer is going to be Kingdom Hearts, which I'm so excited for as well. Um, but yeah, take care, Nico. I will see you over at Chickens. Okay, goodbye.